tons of new upgrades are going to be absolutely ridiculous today. I think I've got a pretty fun way to break the game. On top of all that, 0.2 poison damage per level up, plus 1 strength per level up. Plus, we are going for experience today, so enemies hit 10% harder but grant 15% more XP, 50% uh, 50 XP per coin manually picked up. Uh, plus this one, every time you change environment, get a permanent 3% increase to stats. And then maybe plus 1 max poison stack every 10 levels. Now it's just back to work, collecting whatever gear we can along the way, but we mostly need to level up as quickly as possible, so we're looking for experience gear. But also, picking up these coins is going to give me a lot of experience. Everyone I pick up is an extra 50 XP, which means I'm leveling up in a hurry. So hopefully I can find some that also boost XP, like these boots. The gear we have now is not going to be worn for very long, because we're going to get through this first area amazingly quick. And I haven't yet noticed the extra damage the enemies are doing to me, they are quite weak so far though. Alright, so we're going to go with Theologist, plus 5 auto clicks a second, auto clicks can crit 30% of your crit chance. And for now we're just going to put points into Dexterity for that attack speed and critical chance. And we leveled up again already and we're halfway to the next level again. This is going to get stupid fast. Especially considering that today we can buy across all of them. So we're not confined to any one skill tree anymore, we can buy through any of them we want. We get a plus 1 click damage, a plus 20% crit multiplier, and plus 20% crit multiplier again so that we're sure to hurt people. Then I think we're going to fight a mimic next because I don't know experience and gear. So there we're just going to keep uh, putting on our better gear probably until things start to get to a struggle and then we'll actually strategize. But that's going to be a while because every time we level up we get an explosion of stat boosts that I don't even have time to read plus we have more cards. Uh, I guess we'll just take 15 intelligence because it's a long term boost. I don't know how the poison damage is going to work because we can't actually pick the bottom most of every uh, skill so let's try it there and yeah we're doing at least one poison stack I think. Uh, we kill enemies too quickly so we can't really see because we're- well, here's the boss. Uh, he's dead. Uh, we got some different ones here. I kinda like this one when your HP falls below 20% of your max HP, hit the enemy for 100 times click damage. Oh, wow, yeah! That should help and that, of course, leveled us up again. Our crit chance is 15% now. Uh, I might just start increasing that for the time being. It seems almost unfair to be able to increase my click damage and crit chance. Well, we're gonna go click damage and crit multiplier for now. I did also just find some tier 2 legendary boots. I feel like with all these power-ups we could probably make it to the end of the game with this gear we're already wearing. And we just killed another mimic so he gave us a purple body so that's damage resistance, extra auto clicks. Our click damage per second currently is 24.1 so if I use the skill to increase it it actually gives about a plus 2 boost so that's a big help to us. And I think we have more skills so critical hit chance. We're leveling up so quickly that like I can't keep up. We level up, I buy the stats, we basically level up again instantly. We grab all the gear, try and put it on, rinse and repeat. I will however stop for a legendary necklace. That's going to help me find rare items, dexterity, poison, intelligence, basically everything I want. Plus here's a tier 2 sword which is a lot more damage. And we leveled up again which gives us 2 skill points so let's go plus 1 click damage and plus 5% auto clicks attack speed. Then we have this whole next layer, so we get dodge, uh, 2.5 damage goes to HP, 2% chance on hits to gain shield, plus 1 poison stacks, 2.5% of your click damage is added to poison. And we found a card, we could get a legendary item, I just want 10, 10 of everything, I'm going to replace all my gear soon anyway. And here's another card, uh, lose all of your current gold, we don't have any of that, I guess I'll just improve my equipment by 1 tier, which fine. I feel like I don't even have to do anything at this point. I can literally just auto play through the game without trying just because every time we level up we get so many insane stats that we get stupidly strong. Like I've got another four skill points now so we'll probably put one into that. Two percent chance to gain shield and then just dodge chance for now. That's just gonna make us even harder to hit for the enemies that can't hurt us anyway. And we're already at the next boss. Never mind, he's dead. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go with Rotten Provisions plus two max poison stacks. Plus I leveled up again, that's getting hard to keep up with. Uh, so I don't know, let's add some poison damage, which is up to 25 per stack. Our click damage is 50 currently. Plus we got another skill point. Let's take 2.5% of our uh, incoming damage takes from our energy instead. And there's a nice purple sword, which is going to add lots of damage, extra strength, basically everything we want. I probably should still be adding to my critical hit multiplier too, though. At least for now, because I want to make sure we're doing lots. We currently have a 600% crit chance. 600% crit damage, rather, which is nice and big, especially when we're constantly finding up upgrades everywhere. This gives me XP gain too but it's also just better everything because it's the same thing. We can also add 2.5 of our click damage 
into poison. I think I should probably focus mostly on one thing for now and then we'll get the rest of them later. I do still have a 25% crit chance which is great but I could already boost that up pretty high. There's legendary body armor, uh, more clicks, all attributes, damage resist, everything we want. So a little bit of dodge chance, a little bit of crit multiplier and more cards. So we're just going to reroll these. Uh, lose your last artifact and gain a new one. Tempting to do that because that one's not that great but we'll just take it under gold. Some of them might actually be detrimental. I don't know what ones exist so I don't want to risk it. Okay just found some legendary boots that we're going to try and throw on when we get a second. Also where's all the gloves? We're only finding like white gloves which are going to give us extra auto click so I'll take them. Uh, I just realized I now have two pairs of legendary tier 3 boots but there's a head that gives me extra experience so I'm going to go ahead and take that. Speaking of which we've got two level ups to do so let's do crit chance and crit damage. And there's a legendary necklace. We already had one but this one is better and we get more rare items. Plus more cards, kind of getting tired of these, but improve all your equipment by one tier, which means things stepped up to legendary. I think they were pretty much already there, but I'm not going to complain. And another level up, so let's do more crit multiplier. So we're at almost a thousand crit multiplier already, and pretty soon we'll get uh, super crits available to us too. Oh, this is the boss, by the way. I didn't really know this. Uh, so this time we're going to try trapped ice, gain an ice spirit bouncing randomly around the screen, hurting enemies for 10 times click damage, which still isn't hugely high but it's gonna get there. Uh, none of these are particularly good so I'm just gonna go with that one. That's gonna give us a little bit of shield which doesn't really matter anyway. That was legendary goggles. They unfortunately don't have the experience gain so I don't think I'm gonna put these new ones on yet. I want that experience because level ups are gonna be how I power up the most. So let's add a little bit of crit chance because a lot of our run is gonna be based on how many crits we do. And currently we have a 40% chance. I think when you're auto clicking like this though it actually isn't truly that it's a fraction of that but the higher that number is the more crits we do anyway and it's going to be a lot by the end and we've opened up an all new tier of everything so we can also do like damage resistance zoologist buffs poison instant for now i want the mega crits mega crits are fun and the enemies seem to be dying pretty quickly so i'm pretty happy about that I think I have a new sword I can equip even. Well I could, it would give me a lot more attack damage. I'm just straight up going to. It's not going to matter at this point anyway. I'm already so overpowered it's stupid. Enemies are dying and I'm not even using any, like anything. We're just going to continually get more and more damage overall too. And I found legendary gloves I didn't even notice. So that's more clicks per second, damage resistance, tons of strength. Then back to work, we leveled up again because of course we did. I just like watching your health bars. It's just a bunch of big red numbers and then they disappear already. We don't even have a chance to apply poison. Okay so so this is going to max out our uh, mega crit chance. Now we need to fix up our regular crit chance. Oh, we're at the boss already. We're going through this so quick. I guess we'll just go with this. Every non-crit gives you a plus 2.5% crit chance. Those stack up and obviously we're just going to be constantly critical hitting because our crit chance is already 61% which is absolutely stupid. Okay, I'm just going to buy at least one of both of these and then I'm going to go back to base crit chance for a few more. And that should work out fine anyways. We're still feeling fairly overpowered. The enemies... <laughs> that happens. There's a legendary sword to make it even better. So that's going to be more click damage, more items found, even more crit chance, poison, intelligence stupid then i'm not gonna put this one on it would give me a nice crit multiplier and stuff i still want that experience skills oh there's legendary gloves so more of the same more damage there's another skill point so plus one skill i just want another legendary sword plus legendary armor our luck is bananas right now so we're gonna use this new sword because that's tons of damage and body armor as well too because well we get a lot of damage resistance not that we need it but i want it is it bad that the enemies are like already evaporated and I'm not even close to the full limit of my damage and skills. Okay, there's a third legendary sword. There's one equipped, one back here, and the new one. Plus legendary armor. I don't know if I bought a power-up that gives me a higher gear chance. I actually might have because we're finding tons of legendaries. What I need is a few of these cards that give me plus two to skills. So these don't work, but I'll go back two levels for now. That'll just give me more time for gear. There's more legendary gear. Is there anything beyond legendary? No, three legendary swords do not combine. <laughs> but our crit chance is currently 89% with a crit multiplier of 1200%. I think I might have to start putting some points into strength again so I can get some click damage. The higher the click damage, uh, the more our critical hits are going to land for. Uh, we're also doing 27 clicks a second. And here's a legendary neck piece, which is kind of like the old one, just better. I'm going to miss the item rarity on the old bonus, but that's okay. I just upgraded my crit chance and we went up to 101.3 crit chance. Not entirely sure how we got there, but we're there. Should I, should I add more? What does that do? 105% critical chance. 
Oh, this is the boss, so... Oh, never mind, he's dead. Here's a good one. Each click has a 1% chance to freeze the enemy for 2 seconds. We do a lot of clicks, so I think we're going to be freezing the enemy quite a bit. They're kind of still melting, and this isn't a new area. I feel like I should just sit back and, and, and watch for a while. I don't know what to do anymore. This is just ridiculous. Here's some more cards. Uh, None of these, I guess, would just improve our gear, which is already all legendary. These boots are going to be a nice addition out. Tons of dexterity, intelligence, huge experience bonus again, plus auto clicks per second. So we're currently up to 54 auto clicks per second, which means the enemies, well, the mimic's going to be a little bit stronger, but they basically evaporate. Do we want to go back two levels? Let's just gain 10 strength, intelligence, and dexterity for now. Uh, and then I guess more crit multiplier. Then all we need is another five levels and we get the ultimate ability for everything. Because what we definitely need is more damage. The enemies just disappear right away. Should we add 5% auto clicks attack speed? What does that put us up to? 55. Each one's going to make a little bit of a difference. I might just start adding plain click damage. I think we're just hitting them with like the super crits right away because the, the tech just goes red and they just disintegrate. So I guess we'll just add more attack speed for now. I'm pretty much ignoring the other ones. Uh, we'll get there eventually because I'm going to run out of upgrades. Uh, we're at the next boss already. We're going through this so quick. He just like, he melted. Uh, let's gain click damage for every HP we're missing. We're not going to be losing a lot of HP, but if anything is uh, unfortunate enough to remove HP from us, they're going to die even quicker somehow than they already are. Okay another two skill points i don't i don't really know what to add at this point everything is if we were so strong already i guess just just add maybe a little bit of poison and click damage because the poison damage is still pretty low not that it matters much click damage is mostly what we want for those crits things aren't going to be alive long enough to absorb poison uh, another level up maybe we'll actually take this one one item can be auto used so then i can pick something that's going to maybe add me um damage multiply the damage of your clicks is multiplied oh i think i have to manually click for that one uh, we also got one of these while waiting. Let's add some strength. We're going to use this as soon as, it, as it's available. So we're going to auto quick click quickly uh, i'm finding legendary stuff i don't even have time to keep up this is going to give me a lot more click damage even more crit chance tons of strength and efficiency probably want to put whatever this is on too yeah we're going to get 20 percent xp gain 10 percent crit chance 54 strength that was a really good find whatever that was so our crit chance now is 200 percent not entirely sure how or why but 200 percent crit chance is plenty for me i think we're basically <laughs> constantly critical hitting that's why things basically explode right away oh and we got our top level stuff so to start we're going to gain plus 0.5 percent crit multiplier every second until the end of the run so that's just going to add up and add up and add up then i found new legendary boots which are going to give me even more experience gain plus we're getting close to maxing out our auto clicks per second so between that and the amount of crits we're doing nothing can survive okay we may only be able to buy one ultimate ability at a time uh which is weird because i thought you'd be able to click the ultimates for everyone because we could have gained click damage until the end of the run that's okay because between you and me our damage is pretty high already so let's go plus five percent auto clicks attack speed we're just going through the game so fast right now that i don't i i don't even know what to do i'm just gonna sit here like this for a while we'll put on gear once in a while because i assume by then we're gonna like, like there's the boss but he's dead gain four click damage for every time you slay a boss Three bosses left, 12 click damage. Yeah, why not? I knew we were going to be overpowered, but I didn't think we were going to be this overpowered. Like, this is the game on absolutely easy mode. Plus, here's more legendary stuff, so we get more auto clicks, even higher crit multiplier, which is already at 2,500% for a basic crit. I think the mega crit is five times that, and, um growing okay we suddenly just hit 100 auto clicks per second not entirely sure why but 100 auto clicks per second i guess at this point i might as well be increasing strength at every level up then because i don't know the point in increasing dexterity at this point we can just do more base damage not that we need it we're just evaporating everything and we found another one of these let's go back two levels what we'll is gain more experience and loot not like it's going to take us long okay we're going to add two click damage there so our click damage is currently 387 every time we level up we're going to get more of that thanks to the strength i guess we can also add 2.5 percent of our click damage to poison that's going to take us from 62 poison damage up to 72 so that adds 10 poison damage uh with all the multipliers i'm not sure what that actually works out to uh, the reality reality is it doesn't matter then look at this at uh, tier 8 25 percent extra rarity found 65 strength that'll definitely help me find even more legendary items so i feel like we've already set the record for the amount found speaking of which there's some boots that are slightly better than the old ones the stats are actually pretty close i'm gonna stick with the old ones but wait there's more plus one click damage and i've only defeated these guys once so i'm actually uh getting new research done next enemy double hp yeah this is a double hp enemy he's dead my gloves is still only rank five 
So we can go ahead and replace those. I guess that's just going to give us a lot more strength. Which brings our critical or our click damage up to 464. Critical chance is under 200 now, but that's probably fine. I feel like 180% critical chance is pretty good still. And more good news, I just found another legendary sword, which has lots of strength, intelligence, efficiency. The old sword's debatably better, but at this point it really doesn't matter. I'll take another 15 dexterity, why not? And there's another level up. I put that into extra click damage, which brought us up to about 500. I'm not really sure how much damage you're doing, but... That boss just had 1.3 million health and you saw how quick he died. Okay, so let's slow enemy attack by 50% for the 3 seconds at the start of the fight. I just found some legendary armor, which is about the same as mine anyway. Not going to bother to put it on. Now we're killing robots. These guys have 600,000 health and they die in a heartbeat. I guess with my crit chance being so high, I'm just going to add skills now that just add to that. Things that happen on critical hits. Well, those are going to happen constantly because I'm pretty sure critical, critical hits are all I do. And there's yet another legendary sword. Don't know what I'm going to do with all these. I'm gonna lose some strength on this one, but I don't care. Our click damage is <laughs> basically maxed at uh, 548. Crits max, auto clicks are max, the multipliers max at 2500%. I guess that means my mega crits are 12,500% damage, so 12,500% of 550 plus whatever these things do. Okay, I just found a legendary sword and then a legendary headpiece. I think I got an achievement for that because this is just stupid. So this one doesn't have quite as much experience gain, but it's got all the other stuff. Uh, the swords are all going to be pretty close at this point. Minus 3 clicks, but extra 70 strength. Plus, we really need that crit chance after all. Which, curiously, is down to 165%, but who am I to question anything anymore? Uh, 15 dexterity ought to help that crit chance back up to 170%. And another level up. So... Maybe I'll just add more of my damage into uh, poison damage, which put it up to 300. Actually, that's a ton of poison damage. Oh, and I found legendary gloves to replace my... Poor Roman numeral 8. More auto clicks per second. Uh, y you know, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm just gonna put stuff on and, and whatever. Here's the next boss. He survived for like a fraction of a second. This one's interesting. Gain uh, 0.05 max HP when you kill an enemy. Yeah, whatever. So I'm back in the underworld and these are what the elite top level enemies are giving me for resistance. They have eight, 900,000 health and they evaporate in a heartbeat. And then we're going to take an extra 10 of all the stats. I better put on this new gear. There's a level 10 legendary sword. Pretty much as good as it gets. I actually don't want to use that because I need the strength of my current sword. The armor, however, we might use because that's going to give me tons of strength. Plus all those auto clicks per sec. How could we not? I don't really know what to upgrade at this point. We're doing 661 click damage, 315 poison damage, 100 clicks per second. 3300% critical damage on a normal critical hit. And then we keep finding things like this. That's huge damage resistance, gold found. I don't even want that though because damage resistance doesn't mean anything to me. I might as well just do more damage to kill things quicker if that's even possible. These other legendary gloves, however, I think I'll put on their dexterity and strength. So there's 200% crit chance again, 710 damage. Oh, I thought that was the boss. I got scared because I thought we might miss the final boss. It's liable to happen though because... All, everything's kind of the same. It just evaporates in front of me. I don't think anything can even hurt me. I think things actually die before they have the chance. And I mean, I'm not even going to look at gear at this point if it's less than legendary. Like, there's a legendary necklace which might fit finally. It's going to give me an extra 30% rarity found. I want it just for that. We're going to lose the strength. Oh, it's actually quite similar to the one I'm wearing. That's why I've been finding so many legendaries. Like, there's another one. That's kind of like mine, but better. More items found. I, it, 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 whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. Look at our damage. It's just beyond ridiculous. Wait, there's a legendary sword. Those are my favorite. I just realized I basically have full level 10 legendary gear except for the boots, which are way back on level 7. Uh, I did find some purples. We don't really need that XP gain anymore. We don't really want those anyway, so that's whatever to me. Oh, that was the final boss. I didn't realize. I was thinking about boots. Okay, well, we got pretty overpowered there. Um, not sure where to go from here.